Hello and welcome back to Johnny Benning Campus News, your go-to channel for updates on campus life and events. I'm Ben Bugby. And I'm Tasha Gray. Now before we get into this week's top events, let's hear the weekend weather report. Thank you, Ben and Daisha. Now, let's take a look at the weather this weekend. Friday will be mainly sunny with a high of 83 degrees during the day and low of 51 degrees at night. We will have some light winds coming from the west at around four miles per hour. Moving into Saturday, we're expecting another sunny day with a high of 84 degrees and low of 51 degrees at night. Winds will stay light from the north at five to um, 10 miles per hour. Finally, on Sunday, we're going to see another sunny and warm day with a high of 82 degrees, and winds will come from the southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour again. Sunday night cools down a bit to 55 degrees with a light breeze coming from the southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Well, it looks like fall is still taking its time, so please make sure to get outside and enjoy the warm and sunny weather. Thanks for tuning in. My name's Paula, and now back to you, Ben and Daisha. Thank you, Paula, for another great weekend weather report. Let's switch gears and send it over to Chloe and Olivia to give us the rundown on Johnny Benny Sports. Thank you, Ben and Daisha. This week, we'll kick it off with St. John's Soccer, who had an intense week of Mayak play. The Johnnies faced McAllister College at Haas Field on September 17th. Even with nine shots and six on goal, SJU still dropped their first Mayak matchup 0-1. Senior goalkeeper Evan Siefkin recorded seven quality saves, but McAllister's Cody Daw recorded his fourth goal of the season in the 63rd minute. On Saturday the 21st, the men's soccer team handed to St. Paul to face Hamlin. The game was delayed by rainstorms after 30 minutes of play and was eventually rescheduled for Tuesday, September 24th. The Johnnies had to return to St. Paul on Tuesday and experience another Mayak setback, falling to Hamlin 1-0. Moving on to Benny Soccer, who had a doubleheader on the road this weekend. The team traveled to Hamlin University on Saturday and tied scoreless 0-0. Then on Sunday, St. Ben Soccer headed to Decorah, Iowa to face Luther College, tied 1-1 with Natalie Parnell scoring her first career goal. CSP Soccer plays St. Mary University this weekend and hopes to break their four-game tie streak. CSP Volleyball also gears up opening mic play this weekend as they face Augsburg on Saturday in Minneapolis and St. Kate's on Sunday at home at 5 p.m. The Bennies went 1-2 at the Wartburg Invite last weekend, so good luck moving into Mayak play. This weekend, SJU Tennis has a weekend competition in the fall at the ITA Midwest Regional Championships in St. Peter, Minnesota, Friday through Monday. We conclude sports this week with CSB Golf. The team is gearing up for Mayak Championships this weekend in St. Cloud. They performed well in their last two invites and we're wishing them good luck this weekend. Yes, they have a long week ahead, ahead of them, playing on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Sports Recap. Join us next week as we cover more Benny and Johnny Fall Sports. See you next week and back to you, Ben and Daisha. Thanks as always to Chloe and Olivia for giving us the sports rundown. And to all of our athletes, keep up the good work. Next, we're going to take a look at the successful study abroad fair from this Wednesday. We are going to send it over now to Pola. Thank you, Ben and Deja. On Wednesday, I had the opportunity to attend the study abroad fair in Goretsky, and I want to share what I learned along with some reflections of mine. I discovered a lot about the various study abroad programs. I also had the chance to talk with students who studied abroad last year, faculty members who will be joining students on next year's programs, and first year students exploring their options. So let's dive in. Now we're here at the study abroad fair in Upper Goretsky, and we're gonna go around, look into some programs, and highlight the importance of studying abroad. So we're here with Ella who studied abroad in? Uh, in Australia. Okay, and we want to ask you, uh, what's your favorite memory from study abroad? My favorite memory was going to the Australian footy game with all my roommates. It was really awesome and such a fun experience. We're here with Michelle, who studied abroad in Italy, right? And we want to ask you, how did study abroad influence your academic path? 
Um, it really just opened my eyes to the whole picture. There's so much outside of this little bubble that we have at CSPSJU, and I think it really helps me just explore my options for the future and what I want to do with my life. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, we're here with some first years. What are your names? I'm Gina. I'm Lily. And please tell me, what makes you want to study abroad? I feel like just like experiencing, I'm an L.Ed major, so experiencing like a new culture would be really interesting to me. And just like kind of seeing how like they do schooling in like other countries. I also want to experience a bunch of different cultures and just be able to travel the world. Yeah. All right. And please tell me what programs and countries are you looking at? I'm looking at Italy, either like one of the fall semester programs or an embedded program in the spring. I don't know which country yet, but I'm looking at all of the embedded programs. All right, we're here with Livy, who studied abroad in Australia. And we want to ask you, um, in what ways did study abroad benefit you as a human being? Um, I think it's a great way to learn your independence, and it was a great time just to self-reflect, I guess, and just grow not just academically, but individually as well. <laughs> all right, thank you. Okay, we're here with Professor Jean Levine in the uh, Environmental Studies Department who's done many semesters with students abroad and we want to ask you, how do you see students grow or change over the study abroad program? Okay, um, well first of all, they, I get to see them adapt to a new culture which is always really interesting because they are living in a new country, they have to adapt to people who are often speaking a different language. All the ones I've done have been a different language. Hello, uh, what program is this? <laughs> this is the Buenos Aires Argentina program. All right, I would like to ask you what is one piece of advice you'd like to give a student who is going to study abroad for the first time? I would say just really take, take advantage of all the opportunities that are offered to you. Like be a sponge in terms of like the culture, the place, the people, the relationships and try to do as many things as possible because it's really a life-changing experience getting to be in a different place that long and you'll build lifelong friends, um, make lifelong skills and uh, you'll, you'll do more of that the more things you try. All right, thank you so much. As we could learn, studying abroad can deeply benefit us as students. It helps us discover ourselves in a completely different environment. As an international student, I can assure you that going overseas is a life-changing experience. It takes a lot of courage to leave your home for an extended period of time, but trust me, it is truly worth it. The study abroad experience is incredibly enriching for students and can benefit us on so many different levels. Myself, I'm looking to study abroad in Japan next fall. And if you want to learn more about study abroad programs, check out the Center for Global Education at csbsju.edu and also check out the Instagram page at csbsju global. Thank you. Thank you to everyone that came out and made it a successful study abroad fair. If you are still looking for more information, check out the Center for Global Education at csbsju.edu or stop by the Experience Hub in Clemens Library. Next, we're going to be sending it over to Connor and Bella to hear what's going on and happening on our campus right here at CSB and SJU. Over to now, our Need to Know News. Thanks, Ben and Daisha. Now let's take a look at what's happening on campus this week. Tonight in the Clemens Library, there will be succulent planting and decorating from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. this Thursday. This event will be in the front of Clemens Library. Stop by to see this unique event or to just de-stress. This event is co-sponsored by Stop at Buzzed. We are also super excited for this Saturday's Tundra Fest. Hosted by the Center for Student Leadership and Engagement, this event is located in the Tundra at SJU, where there will be games, lots of food, and over $3,000 worth of prizes to win. Again, this event is on Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. This Sunday, September 29th, stop by Tell Me S'more. Enjoy s'mores with International Student Services at Watab camping grounds. Join by the fire to make some s'mores and share stories about your first weeks of classes with our international student mentors. Mentors will meet students at Sexton Common Bus Stop at 4.45 p.m. to help guide them to a tab. Looking forward to homecoming next weekend, Saturday, October 5th, this week will be Johnny Benny week. 
filled with fun activities for students every day. The local blend will be having a coffee truck at SJU on Monday, September 30th from 8 to 10 a.m. Later that day at 3.30 p.m., there will be a walk with the sisters at Lake Sarah. Again, this will be Monday, 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Also to note, the start of the medallion hunt will begin Monday. Clues are announced every day at 4.30 on my CSB SJU and on social media. Prizes will be announced next week. On Tuesday, October 1st, the local blend coffee truck will be at CSB from 8 to 10 a.m. Later that day at 3.30 p.m., there will be a John Hassler Sculpture Garden Tour. The showing will be from 3.30 to 4.30. Later at 6 p.m., there will be bean bags and s'mores in Flinttown at SJU. This will be from 6 to 8 p.m. Wednesday, October 2nd, there will be hike and paddle from 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Come out to have a good time in the outdoors at Lake Sag. At 3.30 p.m., also on Tuesday, there will be a makerspace tour in Clevens Library at CSB. This event will be from 3.30 to 5 p.m. The night will close out with a sand volleyball tournament from 6 to 8 at CSB. Also to note on Wednesday, there will be a welcome fest into study abroad from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. at Upper Gretzky. Check out the Center for Global Engagement Study Abroad Information Sessions page for additional information and session dates. We are looking forward to this weekend and Johnny Benny week. Thanks for tuning in to Need to Know News. Come back next week to hear about what's happening on campus. Back to you, Ben and Daisha. Thank you, Connor and Bella, for keeping us informed on what's happening around campus. And with that, we wrap up another episode of Johnny Benny Campus News. Your ongoing support is crucial, so make sure to let your friends know where they can stay up to date with the latest on Johnny Benny Campus News. And be sure to check out us on our Instagram at CSBSJU underscore JB Media. We appreciate your viewership. Join us again next week for the latest in campus updates, noteworthy news, and upcoming events. As always, I'm Ben Bugby. And I'm Daisha Gray. Have a beautiful weekend.